What's up guys, Gucci Fitz Forward here, also known as Richard Manzo, and today we're going to be talking about how to fix Mecha Godzilla. If you guys haven't already seen it, you can click right here to watch my reaction to the Godzilla City on the Edge of Battle trailer, which came out just a few days ago. It actually gave us a decent amount of insight into the film and what to expect, like a possible Mothra cameo because of the twin fairies, new mechs to fight Godzilla, which are possibly called Ravens or something like that, and just a bunch of other stuff. Most importantly though, for this video's sake, it showed us more of Mecha Godzilla and what we can expect. Now we didn't see much of him in action, but I am making this to voice my concerns about him and how to fix this version of Mechagodzilla. So first, let's start with asking what the problem is, or maybe a better question, what's not the problem? Right off the bat is the design. What is that? Is that actually Mechagodzilla? He looks more like the Millennium Falcon attached to the body of a Decepticon. Really though, the design is just awful and you may think this is a very minor issue, but actually it goes a lot deeper than just aesthetics wise. This is just plainly not Mechagodzilla for multiple reasons. The most obvious and glaring point though is in the name itself, Mecha Godzilla. Mecha as in mechanical or robotic and Godzilla as in, well, Godzilla. Does this look like a mechanical clone of Godzilla to you? No, it does not. But let's take a look at all the different incarnations of Mechagodzilla. We have the original Mechagodzilla, Mechagodzilla 2, and Kiryu. What do they all have in common? They all look like Godzilla in their face, their body, their roar, tongue, breath, and as well as many other things on top of that. Even Ready Player's 1 design of Mechagodzilla, if you count that, still looks like Godzilla. Why is this important though, you may be asking yourself? Now, I've talked to numerous people about this in the community, and they've all given reasons as to why the design is just perfectly fine for a Mechagodzilla. Godzilla. I'm not going to name any one person in particular, but the reason collectively was very similar. A lot of it was just that it was more realistic. Why would you want to waste time, money, and resources on modeling it after Godzilla when you can just create something that can fight him off? Another is that aliens made him. The Bilisaldu, or however you pronounce that, are the ones who apparently created him out of some nanotechnology and failed to activate him. That explains the bizarre and jagged design. Also, many people were just saying that it made sense for this world, it being set in an anime instead of live action. Now, I can maybe understand some of that, but the simple answer is still that he is just no longer Godzilla. The reason for this, though, is that Mechagodzilla just doesn't have many characteristics. His origins vary movie to movie, with him first being an evil Godzilla clone made by aliens to kill Godzilla, and then the two others he was just made by humans to fight off Godzilla. A good guy. Also, since there is no official canon to Godzilla like, say, Marvel has with its characters, there is only so much character a Mechagodzilla can have. Without origins or morals as a factor, all Mechagodzilla can be described as is a robotic version of Godzilla, and again, this fails. Objectively, it is the worst design of a Mechagodzilla, because it just fails on all parts. Also, addressing the points made earlier defending Mechagodzilla's design, what part of Godzilla or this anime universe is realistic? In this world, Godzilla is just an oversized plant and both aliens and humans can travel at the speed of light. And why model it after Godzilla? Because it's called Mechagodzilla! I wouldn't call a robot Mechanicong if it was modeled after a crocodile just because it was easier. Do you see my point? And just because the aliens made him still doesn't make a difference. 1974 was made by aliens and it is still the most iconic design of a Mechagodzilla today. And finally, because it's an anime? The medium in which it is produced, whether that be a movie, TV show, comic, manga, cartoon, and anime, which are the same thing. NANI? or even novels does not affect the character. Everything that was in Monster Planet can and already has been accomplished in live action, so I see no difference with Mechagodzilla. It just has no impact on the character whatsoever. That's the dangerous part though. Toho I think is cutting it real loose with this world and people are just so accepting of it when it's not even the same character anymore. If you're gonna call something Mechagodzilla, at least make it resemble Godzilla somewhat. If not, just make it something new entirely. We need new monsters and designs in the Godzilla world. I'm tired of seeing the same three monsters reused every single movie. They could even call this thing Mogira because it looks somewhat similar in the face and body structure. But now that we've established the problem, how do we fix it? Easy. Take any number of these designs and just make it. Literally just add a dinosaur head, tail, spikes, and you're done. Boom! Fix your design. But really, if they want to take a non-conventional approach, look at again previously mentioned Ready Player's 1 design for Mechagodzilla. It was just so refreshing to see a newer and sleeker design that was easily identifiable as a Mechagodzilla but also paid homage to earlier incarnations. Honestly, I just say rip the design entirely and use it. It was just an awesome interpretation, but people still had their problems with it though, saying that it didn't look enough like Godzilla, they wanted Kiryu, and yet, they give this thing a get out of jail free card. That's really all I have to say guys though, I wanted to make this video real short just to show that I am not going to hate this movie, I'm not going to be biased, I just want to help improve the film as much as I can with constructive criticism. I actually want to see this do well because we could be getting a new Godzilla movie every year or even every six months. 
I just really want to be invested in this universe, but I just also want them to respect and keep what little character a Mechagodzilla has intact. And that doesn't just go for Mechagodzilla, as I said, this goes for everything going forward. Like I said, this was a shorter video, and I'd actually kind of like to do more of these, that way I can upload more frequently, and we'll see how that goes, but yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching, though. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Give it a big thumbs up to this video. Also, the guys, tell me down below, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the design? Do you agree with me? Yes or no? I'll let you guys vote in that little eye notification right there. Tell me if you hate it or if you love it. Also, though, as I mentioned earlier, you guys can go watch my reaction to the Godzilla trailer that just came out. Also, though, guys, go check out Dante Dotson's compilation of the reaction video. He was awesome enough to actually feature me in the video, so yeah, just go check it out, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching again, though, and Gajir Fitzforward, as always, out.